Hey, welcome to my first vlog type video. Um, I am Dylan. Today we're gonna drive from the Netherlands to Belgium, France and the UK where we got our first delivery at a factory somewhere in the south. The first task right now is uh, that we're heading towards Calais and uh, yep, good luck and have fun. Bye bye. for trucks, cars, caravans, campers, buses go to the left. This is literally only for trucks. understand this. I still see a lot of truck drivers struggling when they come here for the first time. So that's why I make this video. You have to go to this lane. Only the right lane is uh, allowed. It's the same way actually.
car on your brake and you could actually turn to the left where you have a huge parking but when you arrive here in the evening and it's already full then there will be a cross that you cannot go there but right now this is the whole parking you got toilets showers shops everywhere and that will be going through your tall cabinet so you don't have to pay anything if this one is full and you still want to have your brake just follow down the road we'll take the first exit towards the gates actually to go to the UK but otherwise at the roundabout you can take the second right if I'm sure and that will bring you to another parking lot where you can park need to go straight forward if you want to go uh, for the parking and you'll take this exit next to us and then you arrive at this lane to the left where those guys are also waiting for the parking if you want to go to the UK you take the first to the right and uh, yeah, you just follow the whole, way, uh, the whole road so when you arrive in uh, the just take the first right to go to the UK and depending on how busy it is here in Calais uh, this whole situation changes right now it's pretty crowded so our lane is like 10 times longer than when it's completely empty then they send you straight into the number one two or three gate Just gotta follow the signs it says UK as well and if you really do uh, don't know there will be people standing on the corner sometimes or you just follow another truck driver <laughs> stuck in the traffic jam so this uh, lane will actually take you towards the first gate after this turn there will be uh, one man at the gate if he doesn't say anything you have to go straight forward just uh, as the usual you could also send you to the left and that will be a uh, visitation so extra inspection I've been driving this route for about 30 40 times so far and I've never had to stop there so big chance that you don't have to do that either send you here to the left and then you have to go for that extra inspection he's not standing here right now so you can go straight forward into the first gate it really doesn't matter which one you take Now we're finally at the port. We'll be the first one in line after those two. This first gate is basically where they check 
with the dogs around your truck. It's gonna scan your license plate to see if it's the correct one. So, here we go. We arrived at the second gate. <laughs> you can see that the weather already changed. In line now for uh, one hour 50 minutes. This is the second gate where you would arrive. On top, it actually tells you on which sides the actual gates are, where you have to fill in everything. Uh, there's a camera scanning your license plate by driving past, and uh, as soon as you arrive at the computer, it's gonna tell you, hey. Is this your truck? Is this uh, your trailer? Is this your order number? And you just have to click OK, OK. Uh, once that's ready, it's gonna ask if you have dangerous goods on board. So you just fill in no or depending on what you have on board. Then it's gonna ask if you have refrigerated stuff on board. Just fill in your answer. And then it's gonna ask how many passengers you have on board. Uh, as soon as you filled in that, it will actually give you your ticket, and uh, you're good to go. So right now, the camera scanned our license plate. It has it on both sides. Yeah. Uh, telling our license plate, yeah. It says our booking number, and yes, we're gonna use that. Documents, dangerous goods, no. Refrigerated, no. Passengers, passengers one. Enter, and then you have to click on the uh, normal agreements. And you're getting your ticket out and uh, with the ticket the gate actually opens and you're, uh, you can basically drive out you don't have to use that ticket to actually enter the train anymore you just keep it with you so we drove forward this is basically the place where they check your passport on the French side sometimes they do a uh, Drug test as well, opening your doors with a machine checking if there's any uh, dust, <laughs> like traces of uh, drugs on board. And then you'll move on. The next gate that we have to go through is uh, basically the English passport check, where again you have to show your passport before moving on. So, yeah, here we are. On the French side, they can actually tell you to go to the scan. It's uh, over there on the right side. I don't know if you can read it. Literally says, scan. This is the whole reason why I have to stay on the right side because this one goes way quicker than on the left. But either the French people could tell you to go through the X-ray scan or at the uh, English checkup, passport checkup, they can also send you to the X-ray machine. So. But in the 40 times that I drove up and down, never been into one.